Welcome to Green Avenue Glow Up. We just finished renovation and we are dying to give you a house tour. So come on in and we'll show you around. So before we show you around, we want to tell you a little bit about this renovation. Uh, this is a four-story brownstone in Bed-Stuy. It was formerly a three-family. There were three separate units in here, and we turned it into a triplex over a garden rental. So it's now a two-family. Yeah, before we start renovation, this place was very confusing. There was <laughs> bedrooms and walls everywhere. Some of the bedrooms led to nowhere. And we really wanted to turn this into a family home for the homeowners. They have one little child, one is on the way. So now we have a triplex over a rental, a two bedroom now, and we're excited to show you around. So one of our favorite areas in a brownstone is the entrance, the vestibule. It's a very traditional space in this type of home. And this one is beautiful. It has custom mosaic tile here on the floor. And the homeowners designed this themselves. It's absolutely beautiful. This door is a reclaimed door. So it's an original to a brownstone, but not this one. And we were able to get this one really inexpensively compared to having a custom door built. eBay is a great place. <laughs> On eBay of all places. <laughs> Um, these doors were actually original to the home. So all the many layers of paint were stripped off and just one nice clean layer of varnish was put on top of them. Going back to the vestibule tile, this is from a company called the Mosaic Tile Shop. And the really great thing about them is you can design custom colors, custom patterns. It's a really great source if you kind of want to bring that old classic style into a new home. While we put all new hardwood floors in the home, one of the things that we did keep was the original inlay medallion over here in the middle of the vestibule area. It was really special to the homeowner, so we wanted to keep it as best as we could. And what we did is we built the herringbone pattern all around it. So another place we were able to add in some character throughout this entire stairway is the wainscoting panels that are on the wall. So we made these with a quarter inch birch panel, a one by four, and this piece of trim. So it's pretty simple, is a lot of work to put up because there's a lot of dimensions that have to go with it, but definitely adds a ton of character and really completes the space. Another thing that really makes a brownstone a brownstone is the original staircase and newel post and the banister. It is always a lot of work restoring yeah. these. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of parts to it. It's always a custom job. We have to get things recreated. And there's a lot of paint stripping that goes into it. Yeah, the balusters were actually, we were missing several of them. Yeah. So we uh, worked with Adriatic in Brooklyn, a local wood company. I think it's actually one of the first ones in Brooklyn. Yeah. They took the, they had the original knife for the balusters and they were able to make many new balusters here in the home. Yeah, for the ones that were missing. So we did a natural stain on the handrail and the new post. And then of course we did a matte black, Sherwin-Williams, our favorite black color, tricorn black on the treads and the balusters. So one thing that is absolutely a showstopper on this entire floor of the home are the floors. It is a four inch by 24 inch white oak plank that's just laid in a herringbone pattern. It's absolutely beautiful. It definitely is an upgrade. So it is less expensive to buy, you know, just regular plank flooring and it's less expensive to install. But this is beautiful. This is the parlor floor of the home. Keep in mind, brownstones were usually built in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So there's history inside all of these homes. But adding a floor pattern such as a herringbone kind of gets modern touches inside the historic homes. Speaking of historic, let's talk a bit about these marble fireplaces. All of the marble fireplaces were intact here. So it really made our jobs quite easy. We added these gorgeous mirrors to all the fireplaces that you'll see on our house door. And we just added some leftover quartz from the kitchen counters that are coming up. One of the biggest projects here was the wood stripping. All of the wood in this home was stripped. It was covered in layers and layers of paint. If you're familiar with any of our stories, most of our projects are. So we called Maria who came on down. We love Maria. <laughs> love Maria. She did a miraculous job with all the wood stripping here. And then we added a natural finish to all of the woodwork. So it kind of looks like it's meant to be. Also, all of the original shutters are in the windows as well. 
um, and they're all working. They were painted in, of course, and very hard to use, but they've all been stripped. They have all have a nice clean layer of varnish on them and they all work now. So the homeowners can use them instead of curtains. So aside from the marble fireplaces, a really great thing about this place is that they have the original plaster work still intact. If you take a look here at the top, you have that original plaster tapestry or frieze. And it was really in great condition. We just had to do a couple of repatching around the place, but it adds a really nice sense of history inside the home as well. Yeah, and the other thing that you can see here is this wall molding. This is actually new. This wasn't here, and we love putting this in. Really gives you that traditional feel, the historic feel character that you get in a brownstone. And little tip of what to use for this is we, we actually use base cap to do wall molding like this. So it looks really great, it fits perfectly, it's the right dimensions, very easy to get off the shelf. Um, so it's a really inexpensive upgrade to bring in that character and that charm. And by the way, we used our favorite white paint on these walls. White paint is very overwhelming when you have to move inside a home. There's so many, so many so choices many out white. there. So many shades of white. But we went with uh, pure white on the walls and then from Sherwin Williams, from Sherwin Williams. And then we used extra white on the moldings here. So one of the other things that is original to this house uh, that definitely was a big restoration project are these beautiful pocket doors. Of course, they didn't work. They were off their tracks. They were covered in paint. So the paint had to be stripped. The wood had to be varnished. And of course we had to put in brand new tracks so they work really well and slide very easily so the homeowners will be able to enjoy closing the space or leaving it open for more light flow. And guys, let's go inside. In my opinion, the best place in the home. Isn't it always the kitchen? So before the renovation, this was, I believe, a little bedroom in the back. There, I think there was a bathroom. There was a bathroom a over here. here. Um, a quite terrifying bathroom, <laughs> uh, right out of the 70s. But this now is one open space. Brownstones are long and narrow, so everyone has the conflict of what they're going to do with the design. And I think that we as a team really selected the design here perfectly. Let's go through each space. So over here we have the main kitchen area. So there is a huge island. It's very long. They're going to be able to have lots of seating here, which is going to be really, really nice. And the cabinetry here is actually a semi handmade fronts on Ikea cabinets. Always a, a good budget trick that we like to use is the inexpensive Ikea cabinets with the upgraded custom fronts from a company like semi handmade. This specific color is night sky absolutely beautiful with the uh, the brass gold uh, trim here and of course we have the Fisher and Paykel uh, hood so one of our favorite things to add in the kitchen is quartz counters we think it's the most durable product out there we love working with a specific company named Hunstone quartz and that's what we use in this kitchen we use the Montauk line aside from the entire kitchen which I love I think my favorite thing in the kitchen is this shelf that we put right above the range. It's a perfect place to kind of store some tchotchkes, salt and pepper shaker, just a really beautiful element to add to this really, really beautiful design. And another favorite thing is this integrated fridge with panels on it. And this is a Fisher and Paykel and it just think it's stunning. Come on. <laughs> it's tough to figure out a place to squeeze in a powder room but it's also really important to a lot of people to have a bathroom on the parlor floor. So we have a very tiny, precious little ah, powder <laughs> room right here. It's really, really cute. It's absolutely tiny. Have fun in your powder room. It's a small space. Love this bold wallpaper. Very cute concrete sink over here and a wall hung toilet. So on the opposite side of the kitchen, we have a couple of different areas. One is this bar area with a wine fridge uh, with open shelving above it. And then the other side of the fireplace is a pantry area just for some extra storage. These are also um, semi handmade fronts on Ikea cabinets. And this is the quarter line line. So of course, what everyone has been waiting for is to see this huge, nine foot long wall of glass yeah. open up to make this an indoor outdoor type of room so here we have them um, this is the the deck on the back of the house got tile on top from tile bar 
So I don't want you guys to see all this trash behind us and get confused, <laughs> but we have broken this project down into phase two. We want to get in the homeowners in here as soon as possible. So they are actually moving in in a couple of hours. But starting on Monday, we are going to go ahead and start the garden apartment. <music> So let's head upstairs. There's so much more to show you and you guys are not gonna believe the bathrooms up there. So now we're on the second floor and first we're gonna take you inside the guest bathroom. This is a brand new bathroom and it is quintessential us. It's quintessential New York and we just love it. Starting over here, we have this beautiful mosaic tile from Mosaic Tile Company. We really love the pattern on here. We repurposed this clawfoot tub. This was originally in the master bathroom, but uh, what we did is we put it aside throughout the entire renovation and we put it in this perfect bathroom for it. And then we have our subway tile. It has a really nice texture to it. Over here we have beautiful, beautiful vanity. A lot of you might recognize the base here. That's because it's your traditional West Elm um, media console. And then we worked with handstone quartz just to get a nice piece of quartz on top. So before we leave this bathroom, I just want to point out the new door that we put in. We love this door so much. It's a frosted glass and there's so many different benefits to putting a glass door here. Obviously you want it frosted. You don't want to see people do your business, but it allows more natural light in the space too. So this bathroom will always be a nice light space. And I think it's just a perfect addition to the guest bathroom. So this is the office, this room. And I think the, the biggest feature in this room, obviously the fireplace, uh, the original marble fire, fireplace that's absolutely beautiful, but then all of the wall molding that you might see around the space. We wanted to give this room a nice office feel, uh, give it some character and some uh, some charm, that sort of thing. And so we put all of this wall molding up and actually is really, really easy to do. A lot of people want this look and don't know how to get it. And what this is, is just one and three eighths base cap. So another area in the second floor is the master bedroom. Right now we are inside this paradise, if you will. Here we added a niche behind the bedroom uh, back wall. And what we did here is we put an LED strip over here as lighting was very, very important for the homeowners. And this will allow them for like really nice nighttime lighting, nice mood lighting for reading or listening to music in bed. And then over here is what I'm most excited about. And this is an additional closet space. We still have to build it out, but it's a really nice area for a walk-in closet. And welcome to the master bathroom. So this is really where the magic happens. It's so beautiful in here. We just love every detail. Starting with the vanity over here, really special piece. And what we did here is we used a concrete sink top from a company called True Forms. This is custom made for the space. And then we had a custom made vanity as well. This custom cabinet right over here was built by Ethan. Um, we work with him on a lot of our projects. He's a true master in the woodworking game, but something I love, and Barry's opening it right now, is if you go inside these cabinets, we also have electrical outlets. So we also have a really beautiful shower that was clad in this porcelain marble look tile. So we still have to put the shower glass up. That's always the last step. After everything is done, they come in and fit the shower glass in, uh, but really beautiful. And you can see a theme we carried through these LED strips in these niches. So this is gonna be really useful for inside the shower, obviously. And then also over here, the feature wall behind the tub. This wall is from Fire Clay. It's a really beautiful tile. Um, it mitered really nicely at the edges, you can see there. And also, you see the LED strip. Gonna be nice and useful to have a glass of wine, candle. Then they have this beautiful feature behind it as well.
So the first space over here is our first bedroom and this is going to be used as a nursery. Things that we want to point out here are the brand new windows that we put in. Uh, we worked with Pella again. This is the Lifestyle series and they're just beautiful windows. We painted the interior black and then this beautiful new window casing. We have two closets which obviously will be utilized well for a nursery and then my favorite piece is this global pendant light that was put in. It's the Nama pendant and this is in the natural finish. Rattan and weaving is just really in right now and I think it just really warms up the space and will be perfect for a new baby on the horizon. So we're in the second bedroom uh, on the top floor and really common problem in a brownstone is trying to figure out how to put two bedrooms across the front or the back because the windows are always spaced evenly. There's three across the front and there's one right in the middle. So you can't build the wall in the middle because it would go right in the middle of the window. And so this little zigzag wall here is the, how you solve that problem. <laughs> and it, it's, it's a little strange, but it does create for an interesting space and it gives this room a little more space with one window and the room over that we were just in the nursery is a little less space, but it has two windows. It's really beautiful. The floors that you'll see throughout the entire house are these five inch planks. They're just a white oak plank and we just put a natural matte finish on it. So let's head inside the new bathroom on the top floor. This bathroom is one of my favorites just because we worked with fire clay on this and we love fire clay so much. They're a handcrafted tile company out in California. We love bringing them to Brooklyn, but on the floor here, we have a really fun pattern, which makes a great space for a kid's bathroom. We incorporated the tile all on the walls over here uh, throughout the shower and the bath. This is an Ikea vanity, fits in beautifully. And then we of course have the double faucet and a very large mirror. So we're in the last bedroom here on the top floor, really nice room, couple of beautiful windows here. But what's great is what is right next door is laundry on the top floor, which is pretty amazing. We have a glass panel door, of course, to let as much light circulate around the, the space as possible. And then we put in these really beautiful cabinets. These are just Ikea cabinets, so really easy, really inexpensive to build this laundry room. So thanks so much for coming on the house tour here at Green Avenue Glow Up. We hope you love it as much as we do. But we have to get out of here so the homeowners can move in. But before we do, one more thing that we have to do as a phase two to this project are these guys right here. We don't know who put this in or why. It definitely gives the place a lot of character but it's definitely part of the phase two to, to redo the stoop and redo the railing. Yeah, we hope you guys like the house tour. Subscribe to our channel below and welcome home, Jonathan and Patty.